Hello, it's Claire from Angelic Scallywags. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be packing Lisa's order whilst chatting about my first ever product launch. Last week, I launched my summer products. This was the first launch I'd ever done and I had been quietly working on everything for the three months prior. My goal was to create two paintings with a loose summer theme. I settled on bunnies and mice. I like drawing mice. However, the bunny was a different story. Given I only started painting about 16 months ago, I don't have the skill yet to be able to get things just as I want them. As I paint in fairly thick, vibrant and layered watercolour, if I don't pick up a mistake in the early stages, I'm unable to rescue the painting using paint alone. Whilst painting my bunny, I got the aspect of her face a little wrong, only I didn't notice until I was too far in to change it. I shall be forever grateful for the clone tool in Procreate, as it allows me to go into my painting and, in this case, shave off a couple of millimetres from the bunny's face. Once I'd got my paintings how I wanted them, I went about converting the image for a variety of products. I've mentioned this in other videos, but my process is to again use Procreate to isolate each element of the picture. I use the individual elements to make stickers. I am also learning to use and rearrange elements to come up with extra pictures, formatted to suit making bookmarks and book plates with. In the week running up to the launch, I took product photos and used them for Instagram posts and also to add to the Etsy product listings. And then it all went live. I had no expectations. The only place I advertised the launch, apart from here on YouTube, was Instagram, and I only have 100 followers there. For some reason, I didn't write a blog post, nor did I send out a newsletter to my email list. Sometimes it feels like I am juggling so many balls, that if I were to concentrate on just one of those balls, all the rest will crash to the ground. I have a master's assignment due in a couple of weeks, and because it is basically about the relationship between personal experience and professional practice with children, I'm really struggling. I don't have any professional practice to reflect on, and half the marks are based on that professional reflection. Another new thing is that having spent the last 25 years under the radar of the government, I received a phone call from the local education authority requiring information regarding the girls' learning. To be honest, I'm surprised it hadn't happened earlier. I sent an email with all the information they needed and they wrote back saying it sounded like the girls were getting an excellent and varied education. I think I'm going to have to start blogging their work again, which will double up as a yearly report. My point in mentioning these two things is that my small business doesn't exist in isolation. I'm not in a position right now to be able to prioritise my business. My girls' education must come first, and I guess due to assignment deadlines putting a time pressure on my own studies, my master's also needs my attention. However, in the small quiet moments when I am by myself, I am aware of how important my incy wincy small art business is to me. Deep down, I am proud of what I am creating. It often feels awkward to do something just for myself, and I consider myself to be so blessed to have a family who are the most avid, not to mention noisy, supporters to ever exist. I may not have had any expectations for this product launch, but that is not to say that the launch did not matter to me. On the contrary, it mattered a great deal. So what went well? I consider the very fact that I launched 20 new products a win for me, including some new to me products such as A5 prints, washi tape strips, bookmarks and colouring in stickers. I received five orders, and actually I've had two more today, so not a huge number, but one of them was the biggest order I've ever received, which you can see me packing here. Thank you, Lisa. I also, for the first time since I've been on Etsy, hit all the requirements for a star seller. 
These requirements include a certain number of orders, posting quickly, replying to messages, having over £200 worth of orders in one month. And thanks to the huge order from Lisa, I have finally met that last requirement. This means I will be getting a Star Seller badge on my Etsy shop in July. And what went badly? Well, I don't think anything was bad as such. It's slightly too strong a word. I mostly did what I set out to do in terms of products. 20 new products is no mean feat. That said, I had hoped to create some downloadable colouring in sheets and writing paper, and I also wanted to create two new notebook designs with Amazon, as well as a couple of small covered notebooks, one with the mouse design and one with the bunny design. Also, I am next to useless at social media, so in terms of publicising the launch, it was not good. Likewise, I didn't utilise my blog or my email subscribers, which together amount to over a thousand possible customers. Definitely need to learn how to master the potentiality of these. I'd say that five orders for a launch is probably quite low, but I honestly wasn't disappointed at all. Together they amounted to over £250 worth of products, which is massive for me. I'm really happy to have a slow and steady growth. So where to from here? Well, I've already started some designs for an autumn launch. I'm thinking foxes, squirrels. I like the idea of creating burrows with furniture. Sort of the personification of these animals and their homes, taking my inspiration from the animals in Wind and Willows. I'd also like to look into producing a colouring book of my art, but I don't really know how to even start to go about this so I can see some colouring book research in my future. Whatever the case, I'm excited about the possibilities. As I finish this video, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everyone who supports me in any small way, from watching my videos to liking and subscribing, to ordering products from my Etsy shop. Thank you all so much for going on this journey with me. I hope you all have a wonderful week and don't forget to dream impossible dreams.